this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and today's video is going to be about what happened to uh, the leaf when you drain the battery all the way to the end. Um, what happened next time you charge it? So let me show you, um, wait, before I show you, uh, you know that um, in the last few days I made an experiment to see how long, how many miles does the leaf go on one charge, and I drained the battery from 100 to almost zero to one bar, barely one bar. And I got about, estimate, 80, 82 miles. Then this morning I, um, I charged the battery overnight. And this morning, uh, which is 40, it was 40, 44 degrees and up to 46. I just drove a little bit. And the battery usually on this temperature um, uh, charges to maybe 80. So look, look what happened. Let me show you. Here's what happened. You see, it went up to 93, uh, 93 miles, 93 rated miles. So um, that, I, that, I, that information I know. What happened if you drive electric cars, it is a good practice once a month maybe to really go low. I'm not going to say go to zero. Um, I'm not saying that, but it's really uh, good to uh, empty the battery to maybe 30%, 40% or so. It will give you, it will give you, it will recalibrate the, the, the uh, battery pack. It will recalibrate the battery pack and it will, when you, next time you uh, charge it, it will uh, bring it up to what we say, um, higher level of charge. I have, I don't do it as much as I should. I don't, I should do it more uh, because uh, my commute is, you know, it's from here to there. It's not, not that much. So I don't, it's not like I, I come home from work, I have uh, 20 miles left. I come home from work, I have 80 miles left because my commute is very short. In the weekend I do a little bit more driving, but my commute is short. So I don't, it's not in my conscience to do this. I park the car, I charge it. I'm, I'm used to that routine. So, uh, but I, I have done this in the two years, that, almost two years that I own the, the car. I have done this a uh, couple times, two, three, four times maybe. And I've noticed that the next day charge is higher. The next day charge is higher. The battery, the, the battery health is very, very important. So um, keeping it between 30 to 80% is always very good but once in a while you want to go below low and then give it a nice charge and then you see the bat the battery recalibrates very well now i have to say that uh, model year 2015 and up in the nissan leaf the battery system is just spectacular it's very 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 good there's very good management i mean i'm not a chemist or scientist so i can't explain to you how but um uh, it has a wonderful uh, battery life and battery management, so it is good to uh, give it a nice recalibration and a nice uh, charge so you can see uh, higher miles. Now, it is still, it's 46 degrees right now. On a day like this, normal, I get maybe 80 rated miles. I knew it this morning. I knew I was, I was sure that I'm going to get higher than that, and I got, uh, what, 93 or so miles uh, of charge. So that is something... All of you brothers and sisters uh, of electric car owners, you should do that once a month or so. Drain it up and bring it up. Now, if this information is not correct because I have not done it so much, please tell me, correct me. I have seen a lot of videos of um, electric car owners who absolutely do that all the time. They do that and they say, but if you have a different experience, I don't want to mislead anybody, God forbid, I don't, do, I don't like to do that. But based on what I know from other people, other videos I saw, and based on my limited experience, it's something that should be done once in a while to uh, recalibrate uh, the battery cells and the battery pack. pack. So I hope this was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. Please subscribe to my new business channel. Visit all my uh, social media stuff. It's all below in the description. And see you next time. The Electric Israeli. Let's change the world one electric car at a time.